welcome to Kathmandu University School of Education. I am the Dean of School of Education and I am also the Professor of STEAM Education uh, at the School of Education. I would like to welcome you uh, to our programs, especially to our MPhil and PhD programs. We have four MPhil programs. The first of which is actually, historically, the first program is Education Leadership, MPhil in Education Leadership. That was started in 1998 with just four students. And now we have uh, revised the course several occasions on several occasions and the recent one and demands a student to work uh, on their proposal and their co on their coursework at the same time. So the course um, is offered in the evening and uh, from 5.30 till uh, 8.30 in Nepal standard time, which is called NPT. Okay. So the programs are offered in four different subjects. The first of which, as I mentioned, is education leadership. Second is about development education, development studies. Development studies uh, focuses on education policy planning, is intersection of in education and development. So development studies hosts um, faculty with diverse expertise from sociology of education, anthropological orientation of education, indigenous education, uh, youth in education, um, and also uh, education uh, ethics, integrity in, in education. So, uh, and we, we, we have the same pattern as I mentioned earlier, uh, uh, you know, for, for example, uh, the MPhil program under uh, development is, studies is of 36 credits and they have to work parallelly with their dissertation, research proposal and dissertation. Next would be uh, the program in English language education. As I, um, as I said earlier that uh, the structure of in, uh, MPhil in English language education is the same. It's of 36 credits and the students need to work uh, on the proposal and their dissertation from the very beginning. You know, we have coursework and also we have a research component and they go side by side. Uh, the program in English language education, MPhil program in English language uh, education blends both dimension. One is humanities, literary dimension and also education dimension so that students from humanities can come and improve their pedagogical knowledge base and also the students from English education come and develop their humanities orientation. So it's a blended program. It's a, it's a mixed program from that perspective. It's a mix of both traditions. Okay. So, and the, th uh, and the, uh, the program, the next one is uh, MPhil in STEAM education. It's also of the same credit hours, 36 credit hours, and it also requires students to work uh, on their dissertation and on their coursework side by side. So that we can finish their um, degree, uh, their course requirement and research requirement by the end of um, third semester. So this, uh, this MPhil program in education at the School of Education is one of the repeated programs and we have uh, students, uh, we have produced uh, 1,900 students plus students thus far. Not just in MPhil but also students in higher degrees, Master's MPhil and PhD. Um, so, um, and again for international students, so this is, uh, the MPhil program is offered in the evening time from uh, 5.30 to 8.30 Nepal Standard Time. Uh, it's a blended uh, program, so there are components of online learning and also the components of face-to-face -face and flipped classroom and other modes of delivery are also there. So this is about MPhil. Now let's move to uh, uh, PhD uh, in, uh, in education. In, at the School of Education, we have four major areas, major orientation of PhD or major specialization. Let me start with this, uh, education leadership. Education leadership, as I said, is the oldest um, department or oldest program uh, in the School of Education. So uh, it has several research dimensions from organizational behavior to um, uh, school uh, principalship and instructional leadership, digital leadership. These are the areas of PhD research under educational leadership. Likewise, we also have a PhD in development studies in that we focus the intersection between 
education and development. We have expertise in integrity, uh, ethics, in education, we have uh, indigenous knowledge, we have expertise in in youth and education, sustainable development and educa education for sustainable development, so on and so forth. So these um, students look up, can look up uh, the website, our website and check the expertise of our faculty and con uh, consult with, uh, with the head of, respective head of departments. The next PhD program is uh, PhD in English as a language education and as I said uh, earlier, it has the same orientation. It's a plane. Uh, uh, students uh, from the background of uh, English literature can come and also students from education background can come for PhD, provided that they, develop, they demonstrate uh, their um, sufficient understanding and skills in research, in English research, English language uh, research. So here um, our faculty, especially language education department host uh, faculty uh, with a variety of, of expertise, teacher education, teacher development, um, communication, rhetoric and communication, uh, applied linguistics, um, and also uh, the teacher identities and so on and so forth. So these are the areas that our professors have developed their expertise. The next one is uh, STEAM education, PhD in STEAM education, in which we have uh, PhD students from science education, from medical education, mathematics education, technology education, curriculum instruction, so on and so forth. Uh, this is the latest um, uh, uh, version of the PhD in the School of Education because STEM education is the latest uh, sort of innovation in, in education, in curriculum development, in teacher education, and also um, in higher education as well. So in, in STEAM education, we focus um, diverse orientation of curriculum development, of uh, pedagogy, of assessment, of teacher development, and of also of education policy, from medical education to arts education. So uh, that uh, we welcome students uh, to apply uh, with their proposal. Uh, first of all, they need to contact the head of department and concerned professors should check out our website, look up into our website, and then our website, uh, there is a section called professors and staff, and then you can click there, you can find uh, their expertise, you can search on Google with their name, what they have written, what, they, what uh, their Google profile, scholar profile tells. So there are many ways as to how you can reach to uh, those professors, our professors, okay? So welcome to Kathmandu University once again. So our admission has uh, been uh, open and then you can apply through our online portal. Uh, so if you go to our website, there is a menu, there is a link called ex admissions. From admissions, you can find sub menus. Uh, one is about MPL in education, the other is in PhD programs. So you can click whichever you would like to, you know, you are, you are eligible for. So for PhD, you should have at least second division or three uh, out of four CGPA and you should have uh, good uh, academic skills and should have that if you have published a paper, that would be great. Okay, So you should be able to write a proposal and submit that proposal during your application. So with this, I again welcome you and you might contact uh, to uh, if you have any confusion, you can contact our head of department, even you can contact me or our um, admission office, admissions at kusod.edu.np. Okay, thank you very much.